In this video, we're going to discuss the vSphere cluster service. The vSphere cluster service is first introduced in vSphere 7 Update 1, and it serves as a foundation for future enhancements to vSphere HA and vSphere DRS to provide these services when vCenter server is offline. At the end of this lesson, we'll describe vSphere cluster service describe the vSphere cluster service VMs, and describe vSphere cluster service workflows. In vSphere 7 update 1, the vSphere cluster service is introduced. This service deploys vSphere cluster service virtual machines, vCLS VMs, to each vSphere cluster that is managed by a vCenter server 7 update 1. The vSphere cluster service VMs are deployed at cluster creation time after hosts are added to the cluster. In future releases, vSphere cluster service VMs will provide vSphere cluster services to workloads even if vCenter server is offline. vSphere cluster service VMs are deployed to existing vSphere clusters after vCenter server is updated to 7 update 1. vSphere DRS cannot function if there are no vSphere cluster service VMs present in the cluster. Clusters do not require ESXi 7 update 1. vSphere cluster service VMs can be deployed to clusters with ESXi 6.5, 6.7 or 7.0. The vSphere cluster will display an alert message if the vSphere cluster service VMs are not available in the cluster or are unhealthy. Each vSphere cluster service component performs a unique function. The vSphere cluster service manager is a new module running in the WCP service service. It manages and monitors a vSphere ESX agent manager agency for each set of cluster VMs. It persists the EAM agency information in the vCenter server database. It customizes each cluster VM during deployment and performs password rotation for the vSphere cluster service VMs. And it operates using a desired state model. ESX Agent Manager, EAM, deploys the vSphere cluster service VMs to the ESXi hosts in the vSphere cluster. And it receives VM placement information from the vSphere cluster service resource manager. The vSphere cluster services resource manager is a new module running in the VMware VPXD service. This manages the vSphere cluster service VM initial placement and also failover placement. And the vSphere cluster service OVF is a new virtual machine OVF template used to deploy the vSphere cluster service VMs. It's stored in the slash storage slash lifecycle slash VMware hyphen HDCS directory in the vCenter server. vSender server patches and updates may replace the OVF template with an updated version if needed. A vSphere cluster service VM is deployed from an OVA with a minimal installed profile of Photon OS. vSphere cluster services manages the resources, power state, and availability of these VMs. vSphere cluster service VMs are required for maintaining the health and availability of vSphere cluster services. Any impact on the power state or resources of these VMs might degrade the health of the vSphere cluster services and cause vSphere DRS to stop working in the cluster. vSphere cluster service VMs have the following characteristics. They are managed by vCenter server. They do not have any assigned network interface card or IP address. They are always deployed to shared storage where possible. They are configured with one virtual CPU 
128 megabytes of memory and a 2 gigabyte thin provision disk and run a minimal installation of Photon OS. Modifying the vSphere cluster services VMs is not supported. vSphere cluster service VMs are visible when connected directly to an ESXi host using the VMware host client. If no shared data store exists, vSphere cluster service VMs are deployed to local data stores. The root password for the vSphere cluster service VMs can be extracted by running the decrypt underscore cluster VM underscore PW dot PY script from a root SSH session from the vCenter server. The VM console interface is used to access the vSphere cluster service VMs. If the vSphere cluster service VMs are powered off, vCenter server will automatically power them back on. In the vSphere client, vSphere cluster service VMs are not visible in the inventory tree of the host and clusters view. You view these VMs from the VMs tab in the host and clusters view. Alternatively, you view vSphere cluster VMs from the VMs and templates view. In the vSphere client, you can view the EAM agencies by navigating to administration vCenter server extensions, vSphere ESX agent manager to view the agencies. vSphere cluster service deploys vSphere cluster service VMs when a new vSphere cluster is created. First, the vSphere administrator creates a vSphere cluster. vSphere cluster service manager creates an EAM agency associated with the vSphere cluster. The vSphere administrator adds an ESXi host to the cluster. EAM deploys a vSphere cluster service VM to the ESXi host. Additional vSphere cluster service VMs are deployed as additional ESXi hosts are added to the vSphere cluster. A maximum number of three vSphere cluster service VMs are deployed and maintained in a single vSphere cluster. vSphere cluster service automatically updates vSphere cluster service VMs when new updates to the vSphere cluster service VM OVF template become available. A vSphere administrator updates or patches vCenter server and the update includes a new version of the vSphere cluster service VM OVF template. The vSphere cluster service manager observes a new version of the vSphere cluster service VM OVF template and updates the EAM agency. EAM initiates an upgrade of the vSphere cluster service VMs. A new vSphere cluster service VM is deployed using the new OVF template and it is powered on. An old vSphere cluster service VM is shut down and deleted. This process will repeat until all vSphere cluster service VMs are replaced with new versions. vSphere cluster service automatically ensures the desired state of each EAM agency in a vSphere cluster. If a vSphere administrator moves a host from one vSphere cluster to another vSphere cluster, and there are vSphere cluster service VMs running on that particular host, they will be deleted when the host is added to the destination vSphere cluster. The EAM agency for the source and destination vSphere cluster will be updated. New vSphere cluster service VMs are deployed to the host when it is added to the destination vSphere cluster, if necessary to satisfy the EAM agency in the cluster. If an ESXi host 
running vSphere cluster service VMs is moved from a vCenter server update one environment to a vCenter server seven or earlier environment, the vSphere cluster service VMs must be manually powered down and deleted. Log files related to the vSphere cluster service tasks can be found in different locations. For EAM messages, inspect the EAM.log located at var log VMware EAM on the vCenter server. For the vSphere cluster service manager, inspect the WCP service.log at var log VMware WCP. At the end of this lesson, we've described vSphere cluster service, described vSphere cluster service VMs, and described vSphere cluster service workflows. The key points for this lesson are that vSphere cluster service VMs are deployed to every vSphere cluster managed by vCenter Server 7 Update 1. vSphere cluster service VMs are required for DRS to function in vCenter Server 7 Update 1. And vCenter Server manages the lifecycle of the vSphere cluster service VMs. Thank you and I hope you've enjoyed this video.